Okay, so as you consider these two charged by each other, where they have the same charge, we call it, we can call it like one proton, one proton and one electron. So they have the same net charge, right? Just different different signs. And I ask you to draw what the field lines would look like. Well, remember the field lines are the for, are point in the direction of a force felt by a small positive test charge, right? Right? So if I put a small positive test charge right here, which way is it going to go? To the right. To the right. Right to the electron, right? So Paul, a small, a Paul, a small positive test charge would do that. If I put it, yep, I put it right there. A small positive test charge, test charge would follow that path, wouldn't it? Okay. What if I put a small positive test charge right here? It'll still touch another target. Okay, it'll go that way, won't it? It'll go that way with such force it'll go all the way around the world, right? You come back right there, right? Right? No. What happens is, is this electric field line does not terminate on that negative charge and finds some negative charge somewhere else. Okay. This field line comes from some other positive charge. Okay. Which it comes. What you were thinking about is a, is a small positive test charge, it's something that I just charge positive, they can place wherever it wants. Okay? What if I put a small positive test charge right here? It's going to get pushed off in this way, right? Right? But then once it gets close enough to the negative charge, what's going to happen to it? It's going to go towards it, won't it? So it ends up following a path. Looks like that. What about down here? Okay. It's going to launch off this way, but eventually it'll start to get pulled by the negative, won't it? So it'll follow this path. Okay. Does that make sense? You guys see that? I got it right. Okay. What if I send one off the top right here? About the bottom? Down and over. What off the bat? That. You missed a spot. Off the back right here. And since those are have equal charges, one's one proton, one's one electron, they have the exact same number of field lines. Right? What would happen if I turn this into two protons? Kevin? It does. What happens if I turn this into two protons? It would not make each other. It would repel. We'd have twice as many lines. Would they all end on this electron? No, they would try to. No, they wouldn't. Because if they all end on that electron, that means the electron has to be two electrons as well. Okay. All right. Any questions about how I drew that? This, this top one's a little, a little funny looking. So sorry about that. Any questions? Now, which box has the strongest electric field in it? Call box one and box two. Which box has the strongest electric field in it? Box one. Box one. Okay. Box one has a greater field line density. Okay. It means it has more field lines. More field lines in that box. It has a greater field line density. Does that make sense? Any questions? Okay. Use the same ideas now. The way of how a positive charge would feel a force. And I want to consider this drawing. Here I have two positive charges. So, quickly, 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 draw the electric field surrounding two positive charges. Okay. Draw the electric field surrounding two positive charges. Use the same idea I told you. Think about the force felt by a positive charge. What would happen to it? Where would it go? Yeah. Is college over there? I think it's college, yeah. I know. We like find the mass of the electron and then. Well, if I see for the mass of electron, you just look up the back of your book. No, no. And then add some other stuff. And then that E equals MC squared. And then 
divided by the force of light. There's, the the There's a lot more of the equals MC squared, don't you? Don't you know? No. Isn't it like energy? But E equals mc squared is only part of the equation. Oh, it's the part that everybody remembers. Wait, energy? Because you have to subtract uh, the, the time, you have to subtract the time shift and the velocity shift. Energy equals mass times what? Speed of light. Yeah. All right, guys. That's your draws. Not, not, not have a conversation about it. Okay. Mace, you don't need to film me. I'm, I'm filming already. <laughs> Julian, don't ever laugh like that again. <laughs> well, good. Effort is noted. Well, I guess it's not wrong. Wow. Certainly not right, but it's not wrong. Senioritis setting in, huh, John? Oh. Yeah, I'm going to zoom out just a bit so you can see the whole picture. Now, think about it this way. If I put a positive test charge right here, which way does it go? Upward. If I put a positive test charge right here, which way does it go? Downward. Downward. Okay. If I put a positive test charge right here, which way does it go? It'll go left, but won't that one push on a little bit too? So will it go straight left or will it curve? It'll curve. It'll be like one of these things. Okay. Same thing right here, what it'll do? Kind of curve a little bit, right? Okay. What about here? Same, straight left, it's going to curve a bit. Straight right, it's going to curve a bit. Any questions about those spots? Let me put one in there. Ah, we'll get there. Okay. <laughs> now, what if I put a test charge here? Okay, this one's going to shoot it this way, right? If that one wasn't there, the test charge would feel force in this direction. But since this one's here, what happens to that force? It goes back. Curve. So it looks like this. What about right here? What about here? What about here? So, sideways. So it's like there's an asymptote. No, I'm not cussing. It's like there's an asymptote, a line we don't cross, that goes right down the middle. Right? And my picture's not great because my asymptote's not straight. Okay? But there's a line right down the middle that these field lines approach but never cross. Okay? Now, if you were to zoom way out from this picture and keep your field lines intact, what it will look like is a... Two positive charge okay. if I zoom way out of this, guys, it would look just like this. Okay? You would lose these curves and you would just see straight lines going out if we zoomed way out. If I can't zoom way out and keep my lines intact, it'd be cool if I could. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Now, Kim, you asked, what would happen if we put one right below, right here, right? Where's it going to go? Okay. Well, think about it. If I put a small, a small positive charge right there, what's going to happen to it? It's going to feel force this way, right? Momentum will carry it past the asymptote. Once it passes the asymptote, which is kind of the center of the two, of the two protons, or the two positive charges, once it passes that, what's going to happen? It's going to get pushed away from this one, right? And that proton, that, that positive charge, will turn around and start going back. Then what's going to happen? It bounces back and forth. Bounces back. Then what's going to happen? Okay. It'll keep going back and forth. 
Now, if this positive charge is in a frictionless environment, it will do that forever. What and by frictionless environment? Means there wasn't any friction. Yeah, but like, how? Yeah, but like, how, how is there friction on the scale of that? Because there are other particles that it can run into. There are air currents. There are other objects that could affect it. Okay. This is about as frictionless as we can get. Okay. So, theoretically, guys, this proton will oscillate back and forth forever. Okay. Have you ever seen someone bungee jump before? Yes. And they fall down, they get pulled back up. They fall down, they get pulled back up. They fall down, they get pulled back up. They break their leg. Okay. Hopefully they don't. All right. This proton is kind of going through that same bungee jump, except it's using electric, electric fields instead of gravitational fields. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So we typically don't draw that line for that reason. Okay. Any questions about that electric field? Now what would happen if this was two negative charges instead of two positive charges? What do you guys think would happen? It's going to look the same. Except which way do the lines point? Inward, good. If this was pot, these were negative charges instead of positive charge, it would look exactly the same as this. Except all of our lines would point to the charge. So the arrow would point to, the arrow would point in, the arrow would point in, the arrow would point in, the arrow would point in. Look exactly the same, just the arrow is pointing in. Are there any questions? Any questions? So, let's try it. Here's your negative charges. Draw the field surrounding these negative charges. You can think of this as two electrons. One electron here, one electron there. Be kind of electronic, wouldn't it, Sergio? No, my jokes are bad. are equal charges and you draw four lines coming out of the left charge, how many lines have to go into the right charge? Four. Four. If you draw six, how many have to go in? Six. Six. Okay. Since they're equal charge, you have to have equal number of lines. So, what happens on the outsides is you have charges that come straight in. Right? If I have a charge that comes in from up here, It'll feel a force from both until it gets close enough to that one, and it'll turn to it. Same thing here. 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 charge here. It might come down whichever one's closer to, that's the one I'll go to. We'll kind of get that same asymptote, because this time it's vertical because of how the charge are lined up. Okay. Does that make sense? It's kind of ugly over here, I don't like that. Does that make sense? I say asymptote. You say tomato, I say tomato. I say potato, you say papa. papa. Okay. Any question? <laughs> Julie would go there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Example 14. 
Okay. Here's the question. What is the charge on each charge below? Explain. So one and two are two different charges. Okay? I want you to think about what the, what is the charge on each of the charges. Kind of sounds redundant. What is the charge on each charge? I got it. What is the charge on one? What is the charge on two? Just think about it for a second. Okay. I also want you to think how those charges relate to one another. Okay? Ooh, I see it. How does the charge on one compare to the charge on two? We're talking negative and positive. There's also something else we're talking about. And they'll give it away if I tell you. There's a weird physics book in there, sir. Alright, so who knows the charge on one? Positive or negative? Positive. Why, Sergio? Because you can see the lines going out. Okay, good. The lines are going away. What's the charge on two? Negative. Maria, neg you said negative. Why negative, Maria? Good. The lines are going into it. Okay. Now, which one? Which one has a larger charge? Two. Two. Why charge? Why two? Good. Maria says two has more charge because it has more lines. So if two is two electrons, that means one is one proton. Because two has more lines than one. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, did you count the one at the bottom? I did? Yeah, they have the same. No, they don't. Yes, they, yes, do. they, do. they do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, I can't count. Okay, then they're equal. Man, you guys are smarter than me sometimes. we already knew you could count. Here. It's like your spelling. Hey, it's my prez, y'all. Do what I want. <laughs> hey, it's cheating, bro. Nah, I'm right. <laughs> See, I told you this would have more lines. That is cheating. Yeah, where are those other Where do these ones come from? Yeah. Other charges. Well, that. They're going to get repelled by the proton. They won't. Some positive charge down in this Falk's room or some positive charge over there at the car dealership. Okay? That's where those ones are coming from. Yeah, they're going to get repelled by the positive charge. Ah, that's all right. They're stuck to something. See, now you're cheating. Hey, it's my prize. I'll do what I want. Any questions? I'm going to remember that when I present something. I'm going to be like, 